Welcome fellow aspirants to the JKSSB exam special YouTube channel, where we are dedicated to providing you comprehensive and detailed content to help you ace your JKSSB exams. We understand the importance of knowledge and how it can shape your future. Today, we are thrilled to launch our special series on Indian freedom fighters. In this series, we will explore the powerful words that ignited the revolution against British rule and the inspiring individuals who dared to dream of a free India. So buckle up and get ready to embark on this enlightening journey. Stay tuned and let's dive into the rich history of India's struggle for freedom. Freedom is not given, it is taken. Subhash Chandra Bose This poignant quote from one of India's most revered freedom fighters sets the stage for our exploration today. We are delving into the world of powerful words spoken by Indian freedom fighters against British rule. The first quote to ponder upon, a nation's culture resides in the hearts and in the soul of its people. Who uttered these profound words? Was it A. Mahatma Gandhi, B. Rani Laxmi Bai, C. Jawaharlal Nehru, or D. Bhagat Singh? Give it a moment's thought, the correct answer is A. Mahatma Gandhi. Next up, we will face the bullets of the enemies, we are free and will remain free. This quote is attributed to whom? A. Bhagat Singh, B. Mahatma Gandhi, C. Subhash Chandra Bose, or D. Chandra Shikhar Azad. The correct answer is C. Subhash Chandra Bose. Our third quote is Inquilab Zindabad. This phrase, meaning long live the revolution, is associated with which freedom fighter? A. Bhagat Singh, B. Bal Gangadhar Tilak, C. Rani Laxmi Bai, or D. Jawaharlal Nehru. The answer is A. Bhagat Singh. Moving on, we have Swaraj is my birthright and I shall have it. Who declared this with fierce determination? A. Bal Gangadhar Tilak, B. Mahatma Gandhi, C. Subhash Chandra Bose, or D. Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel. The answer is A. Bal Gangadhar Tilak. Our fifth quote is freedom is never dear at any price, it is the breath of life. Who spoke these words? A. Mahatma Gandhi, B. Jawaharlal Nehru, C. Bhagat Singh, or D. Rani Laxmi Bai. The correct answer is A. Mahatma Gandhi. Now consider this one, we are Indians, firstly and lastly. Who expressed this sentiment? A. B. R. Ambedkar, B. Jawaharlal Nehru, C. Mahatma Gandhi, or D. Subhash Chandra Bose? The correct answer is B. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Let's move to the seventh quote. Life loses half its interest if there is no struggle, if there are no risks to be taken. Who said this? A. Subhash Chandra Bose, B. Bhagat Singh, C. Mahatma Gandhi, or D. Sarojini Naidu? The answer is A. Subhash Chandra Bose. Eighth in line, it is a crime to be silent in the face of injustice. Who made this statement? A. Mahatma Gandhi, B. Bhagat Singh, C. Jawaharlal Nehru, or D. Rani Laxmi Bai? The correct answer is B. Bhagat Singh. Our penultimate quote is, we end today a period of ill fortune and India discovers herself again. Who stated this? A. Jawaharlal Nehru, B. Subhash Chandra Bose, C. Mahatma Gandhi, or D. Sarojini Naidu? The correct answer is A. Jawaharlal Nehru. Finally, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Who made this profound observation? A. Mahatma Gandhi, B. Bhagat Singh, C. Subhash Chandra Bose, or D. Jawaharlal Nehru? The answer is A. Mahatma Gandhi. To summarize, these quotes are not just words, but the essence of India's struggle for freedom. They are a testament to the spirit of bravery, sacrifice, and patriotism. From Mahatma Gandhi's philosophies of nonviolence and truth, to Bhagat Singh's revolutionary ideals, from Subhash Chandra Bose's unyielding determination to Jawaharlal Nehru's vision for a free India, these quotes capture the essence of India's fight for freedom. And as we remember these inspiring words, we honor the legacy of these remarkable individuals who shaped the destiny of a nation.